of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see hey guys, Julian here. Got a fun video for you. Just let me give God the glory. Father God, I give you all the glory for dreams, visions, words of knowledge. And thank you, Father, for your word. And your word tells us all about unleavened bread. And so we just thank you. And we ask that you take this video to those that need to see it. Amen. Guys, this is a fun video. I hope you enjoy it. Um, here, we're just taking you through the steps of the different oils. And you can see Laura and, and Bonnie. They're putting together um, some unleavened bread, some dough, and then um, show you the different ingredients and rolling out the the dough and 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 cutting it and getting it ready so and actually um you know we go live with um with bonnie explaining through the steps and we're not professionals but here's what's happened recently is the lord um the lord allowed us to go to an rv camp where we were nearby it's very close and um we we got in there and um they have a they have like a little clubhouse with a full-size kitchen and we thought wow let's use this big oven for making uh, matzah and unleavened bread. And so that's what we've been doing. And we've been here a little over a week. And so praise God for that. He got us out of the out of the very rough terrain and um, where we had no supplies. We, we, we did get an upgrade. We have now we have water hooked up and we also have electricity hooked up. And although we really didn't need it because we have solar, but um, we all set, but enjoy the video. And I'm actually in it as well somewhere. So. God bless you guys. I hope you enjoy it. And leave your comments what you think, what you think about our baking video. All right. God bless. Hi, guys. This is Bonnie with Open Eyes of the Heart Ministry. Uh, we're here today in the kitchen of our clubhouse here at the RV park where we're staying right now. And we're going to make some matzo. So we wanted to share it with you and show you what we do. We do this a couple of times, probably three times a month. Um, we all eat matzah and we just enjoy making it. It's quite a change of pace for us. So we start out with regular white flour and we also use uh, corn flour, or excuse me, coconut flour. Uh, we are on a fruit diet so we're allowed to have the coconut flour as well. We use kosher salt and need some water. We have a, what do they call these? <laughs> a cutter. Cookie uh, a cookie cutter. This one's a square one, so we have square matzahs. We have some measuring spoons and some measuring cups. And the most important thing, our rolling pin. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start out with... i to get my measuring cup over here. Do you want to say what size the cookie cutter is? Uh, the cookie cutter is two and three quarter inch. Uh, it came in a set of four, and this is like the second size in there. Um, once the matzah cooks down, it's about a two inch piece, which is what we were told that we could have was a two inch piece. So I'm going to start out with a, one cup of the, uh, white flour. And I'm going to put it through this sifter just to smooth it out a little bit, make it a little easier to work with. Okay, and I'm going to put in a quarter of a cup of our uh, coconut flour. And we use, um, we start out with a third of a cup of water and we mix with that and then um, if we need to add more, we, we can. But they say to start with a third. And this is a recipe that I got online and we've used it ever since I started making matzah when we did Passover. And now comes one of our wonderful things is the, the oil that we selected. Uh, today we're going to be using a toasted sesame. We have several different ones back here, and um, probably use about three tablespoons full for this recipe. And it just adds a little bit of extra flavor to the matzah. also use kosher salt in this and I'm going to put in uh, three tablespoons full. Um, we like to have salty matzah so we use quite a bit. Uh, just the, um, the actual recipe calls for one tablespoon. 
So we're using quite a bit more than what the recipe calls for. So just as you prefer. And it's getting pretty dry, so we're going to add some more water in here. This in the okay, so now Bonnie's handing me the ball, that, the ball of dough, and it's my job to, um, to roll it out and, and also take the cookie cutter, two inch, two and, what is it, two and, two and three eighths, two and three eighths cookie cutter, and, and then go from there. So, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this out and and then I'll come back to you. So yeah, just roll it out here. I used to um, help my mom do a lot of baking cinnamon rolls from time to time, family recipe. But hey, Bonnie, so what's the difference between just like this, this the matzo dough that we're making compared to like someone else, you know, any other dough? Well, this is um, considered an unleavened bread. So it has no yeast in it. It's not going to rise up. It's just going to stay as a flat, uh, kind of cookie type uh, cracker. So we use a special of type of uh, um, flour, right? No, actually it's just a regular flour. Uh, but we do add some coconut flour into it because we're allowed to have coconut. And we thought it would give it a little different flavor. It gives it a little extra texture. and. Um, we also, this batch, we're using sesame oil, which gives it a little different flavor as well. And yes. It's, you can use all kinds of different oils. Yeah. You can use avocado oil, grapeseed oil. I think we already kind of talked about that. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to show you guys what we do with the pans in just a minute. We'll start laying these out onto um, these paper plates like this. Okay. Okay. Um, hi. Be welcome back. Uh, Jules has chopped these batches all up for us and has um, cut them up into our little two and three quarter inch squares. Now we're going to start putting them on the trays and put them in the oven. Wanted to let you know you need to set your oven at 450 degrees. Uh, you will need to turn these. And we use a non-stick cookie sheet. Um, we can get 35 pieces on a sheet, but um, we cook on one side for seven minutes, take them out, flip it over, and put it on the other side for seven minutes. And then they should be done. You can um, bake them a little longer if you like them crispier. You can bake them a little less if you like them chewy. So here we go. You, you need to preheat your pans as well. So they're very hot because the oven's at 450, and so we just lay them out here. Like I said, we don't put anything on the cookie sheet itself. We just um, put the matzah right directly on the pan. We want it hot so it starts cooking it as soon as the, the um, matzah get on the pan and it helps us to get it through the oven process faster. And we're making this batch for Jules, and he likes them a little bit thicker, so you can see how, how that is. And he is our master roller. <laughs> I do appreciate that. It makes it fun. Okay, um, we got our trays all ready, and the next thing we do, uh, this is not in the recipe, it's just something we came up with because we like to have them salted. We're going to do a little spray on the top of it, and this is a, a little misty sprayer, and we just 
lightly spray it and then we're gonna this is just a, a regular salt we use sea salt and we're just gonna shake this on top of it and I'm told that Jules loves this <laughs> he likes salt on his matzah so that's what, how we came up with this idea just putting a little spray on it and then the salt sticks to it really well so just a, an idea for you if you want to take the time to do that you don't have to but we do and yeah, let's see is there anything else I need to tell you about the oven we're doing both trays at the same time so that um, we can just keep track of what's going on with them a little easier than when you have different times on the on the trays let me go ahead and put these in and I have found that putting them closer to the top they cook better so we're going to set our timer and Jewel said uh, last time we only did six and a half minutes so I'm going to set it for six and a half minutes So now we'll just wait for them to cook and then we'll flip them over. Hey, I got them out of the oven for the first side cooking. I'm going to flip them over and I'm going to spray them again and put some more salt on the other side. So this is all I do. Just, somebody said, aren't they hot? It's like, yeah, they're hot. You just do it quickly if they're not stuck together. And once I get them flipped over, then I will spray again on the other side, on this side, and these aren't being very cooperative today, so usually they flip over real easy. Okay, I got them all flipped over, now I'm going to just spray them real light again, and cover them with salt. And then I'll put them back in the oven for another six and a half minutes, and we'll have these all done and ready to package up. And we just put them in plastic bags, usually about a quart size, and that way you can keep, a, the, keep them sealed as long as possible so that they don't get all funky and too, too moist and that kind of stuff. Okay, back in the oven they go. Okay, so Bonnie just brought them out of the oven and Ooh. we're gonna taste I'm gonna taste one of them and see how they are. Mmm very good. Very good Bonnie. Well, good you. job. Hey you too. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this unleavened bread. God bless you guys. And this is Julian and Bonnie from Open Eyes to Heart. We're done. Out.